I know that I'm spending yet another extended portion of this Let's Play just being like, damn, Metroid Prime 1 is good. But honestly, every time that I play, especially during Corruption, it's just, like, because it's... Boring. Um, <laughs> no, just because it's so much more linear, right? Like... Well, I find too tedious. I find too keeps a lot of what I, I still liked about Metroid. In hindsight, compared to this, it does that. <laughs> Where this is, like, not as tedious, not as, like, frustrating or anything like that, but... I feel like it's lost most of its Metroid magic by this point. It's got a little bit of it left, but it's like... I don't know, it's like the game itself has been corrupted to forget what it's about in the past and just be all about the murder or death action. Um, <laughs> you know, like Samus, oh hey, there's a collectible right at the start here, fuck yeah, let's go. Where? Wait, what? <laughs> is there more of the map I haven't explored or is there some shit going on here? What? <laughs> is there anything to skin here? Oh, okay. Um, the Enkudu. Oh, uh, sorry, Enkudu. Griffin Glass, Africa, my circle are on shore leave. You know, is it threatening you at a beach party? Assholes. Um, huh. Okay. What about this thing? Hydro Multi Tower, Zero Cannon, Unit Cycling System Engaged. Okay. Well, I can't scan anything from here. I can fall to my death. I can jump off a platform. I've nailed that part. If I need to do that later on, I know I've got my, I got my experience and I got my practice down for that. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I don't want to say that this game is bad. It's not. Um. So. Welcome back, Samus. We're in the middle of major repairs due to the pirate attack, so excuse the mess. That's all right. I'm looking to depower some of your shit. I hope that won't affect your, um, repairs. Sorry. Uh, oh, I can go... Can I screw attack from up here? Fuck. Um. <laughs> probably not. Um. I, I don't know. Oh, hey! Someone I can talk to who's not the normal... Right now, can we talk later? Sorry, what was I actually didn't hear? I'm sorry, but this is very complex and I can't be disrupted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> then you're probably mad that I asked to talk to you again, hey. Who are you? Fleet mechanic! Hey, nice. Okay. Uh I'm sorry, but this is very complex and I can't be disrupted. Oh, I, I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was just exiting the menu, whatever. Um I don't, like, honestly, even at this point, if, if you had to ask me which do I think is worse, Prime 2 or Prime 3, I couldn't answer that. They're both so much worse in such different ways. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, hatch controls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with the hatch, sure, why not? I don't know what the duck. But, but, yeah, is that literally it that I need to get the power off? Oh, okay, I'm now blasted off. Yeah, sure, they're in the middle of repairs, but just blow up the air conditioning vents. Fuck it, why not, you know? Who gives a shit, right? Just, just fuck it. Just blow up everything. You're in repairs? Fuck you. Repair even better. Whee! Uh... I, feel, I feel like a dick whenever I, like, just talk about how I... What game I prefer. I, like, I always feel like a Oh, I can figure out there. I always feel like a dick, because I know this game and, um, and two, that I know they have their fans and everything like that, and, you know, I don't mean to piss them off. Okay, Echo's fans, sometimes I mean to piss off. Um, <laughs> people were mean with that one, but, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit mean back. Not that it's justified, it's just, you know, I'm a dick. But, <laughs> whee, nice. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Should I shut my mouth about it? I don't know. I, I, just, I feel like the only thing I do in this series anymore is shit on the previous ones. Uh, sorry, shit on this one and, and talk about the previous ones. I feel like it's the only thing I do anymore. 
What's up? Good day, Samus. You may want to rethink heading into this section of the facility. Is there power ups there? The area beyond this door is overrun with spent phase on from the initial pirate invasion. The locking mechanism was damaged and is currently inoperable. It is scheduled for repairs, but considering what's on the other side, I'm not surprised the welding engineers haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. <laughs> I'm like, what percentage phase on am I at this point? I've lost count. Oh, I'll, re I'll repair it. I'll go in there. I don't care. It's all right. If I melt it hard enough, it will. The electronics board will be fixed. This is how you fix motherboards, right? You just get a. You just get a soldering iron, fire it at the motherboard. Bam! Repaired, right? Say done. Like if there's a scratch on them on the motherboard, you just solder where the scratch is. That's all you gotta do. Where's the spent is the spent phase on down there? Okay, well that that thing will injure me if I touch it. Power source for air okay. I don't see that much phase on it here, I mean perfectly not. Oh I see what I'm doing. Ah, fuck. Get up. Get out there! Get out there! Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay! The pattern is not as simple as just gun it. <laughs> it is slightly more complex. Got it! Okay. I did it! Wait, no, I haven't done it yet. I, I... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! There we go. I made it. I made it. I'm good at video games, everyone. Yay. Yay. Whee! Oh, there's... Okay. Spent phase on might be in here. Okay. Is there, is there power-ups down here? Is there a reason for me to go down here? Oh, that goes to a generator that I haven't even been to. Yes. That is probably important. Also, there's a power-up down there. Um, okay. Actually, okay, I have 94 of 100. I should check my map and see if there's six. One, two, three, four, fuck, shit. Um, <laughs> oh god, where have I missed two? Okay, they might be on the Valhalla. They, they probably won't be on the Valhalla. Where? Fuck, um, okay. Fuck, shit, fuck, okay, um. Fuck, okay. Fuck, uh, yeah, I'm seeing four. Here. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. Fuck. I would assume there's none. Like, after we get onto the Leviathan ship, right? I, I'm going to assume there's none after that point. I don't think there's been in any previous game, so I don't think this game would do that. Is my guess? Oh! When you say, okay, so when you say phase on, you literally just mean, like, the pools of phase on that attack you. Okay. Literally the pools of phase on that run around. Got it. What the? What? Oh, the door's underneath me. This, <laughs> this area has two levels to it. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Get your hand in the game. I quote High School Musical an awful lot for someone who fucking hates the movie. Um. Honestly, I don't even know if I hate it. Like, I don't know if it's objectively bad, or even subjectively bad for me. I just, I can't associate positive memories with it, because of just how much we were forced to watch it in high school. Like, the amount of times that it was... Oh, well, a teacher hasn't shown up, or the teacher's too hungover to teach us anything. I guess the only option that we have is to watch High School Musical for the 50th time this year. I think that's the main reason that I have negative feelings towards that, friend, um, towards that movie. I don't even say franchise, I haven't seen any of the other ones, but <laughs> High School Musical 1, it was just the amount of times that we fucking watched it. 
I think it's the only reason that I have like massive negative ugs towards it. It's just because I, I had to watch it so many goddamn times. <laughs> Special access codes! Oh, don't make me remember to type in shit. Galactic Federation data file, Planet Brio! That special code is going to be used for something, isn't it? Oh, shit, I should probably write it down. Uh, Federation's gas discovered the planet Brio 10 years ago. The planet's alignment makes most of the surface uninhabitable. 48% of the world is always exposed to sun, which another 48% shrouded in permanent night. The remaining 4% uh, 4 lies in an equatorial ring of fertile jungle, where the bulk of Brio's bioforms dwell. Huh, I didn't realize that that's how Brio functions. So, like, it, the, the way that it, like, rotates and stuff, there's just a small part of it that actually goes through a day and night cycle. Huh, interesting. I guess that's feasibly possible for a planet to do. Like, I, like if, it's, if it's rotation matched, like, stuff just in the right way, I guess. Or I guess it, or I guess it might spin on its axis the other way around, where, it, like, the axis is going through it horizontal at a very slight angle. So where the, the equator is, is, like, the planet's just angled towards the sun. And it's been... And, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure every planet in our solar system has its axis facing ro relatively the same way. Like, they're all up and down. They're on angles and shit, like like it's 23% and shit like that. But um, I think all of the ones in our planet, like, they're all roughly facing up and down the same direction, like in our solar system. So I guess this might just be from the way it's lining up with the sun or the magnetic poles go through the planet, I guess. I'm not 100% sure how that would work in theory. It's been a while since I've touched astrophysics, so I don't remember. I don't remember that exactly, uh, uh, and and stuff like that, because my memory's bad. And at, at this point, how long until I? Have, oh god, how long would it have been since I did like my any of my last studies of astrophysics? I think it'd be at least five or six years <laughs> since I've like last touched, like an astrophysics like teaching. So yeah, my memory is really bad for, for for that. But yeah, I yeah I guess uh, yeah it's the, the rotation of its planetary axis must be going like horizontally through the planet with a very slight angle to make that um four percent of the planet rotate through that. That's a very interesting like. I don't know if I've ever seen that in science fiction though. Like for for a planet to spin that way, that's actually really interesting. Like they 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 thought about doing a thing. I don't know whether they I don't know whether they knew the explanation that I'm coming up with or whether they just fucking went for it and just said it, but you know, but it's still interesting. <laughs> Fuel gel is common on Bria, which makes it extremely important to the Federation. The local bioforms are quite primitive, though there are ruins that um they indicate an advanced culture thrived on um Brio in centuries past. Yeah, then they kind of went to massive fucking war at each other. Brio is fucking fallout as a planet. <laughs> Basically, it might as well be, right? Skytown is a network of advanced structures floating in the atmosphere of planet um, Alicia. Most of the base is dedicated to research, from a local to interstellar level. The powerful sensors of Skytown provide useful military intelligence data along with research information. Ah, yes. Use all of this wonder of science for the military. The fucking Federation of Bad Dudes. Um. <laughs> along with research information. Oh, I guess we could use it for science. I had already unit um, analyzed the vast amount of data collected by the station. It is supported by the Elysians, a group of sentient mechanoids that live within the base. Hell yeah. What about this middle thing? Unit transfer information from Federation's data banks to all nearby access terminals. I should probably... I should probably write down this thing. Because it could also just be randomly generated per save file. I don't know where I'd enter this at all in any capacity i don't know if i've seen anything is there something on the ship that does this i have no idea but i'm gonna write it down i'm gonna write it next to what the f sorry i just picked up a fucking system card that i use for all my notepads now um instead of having like a notepad that flips over that is individual palm cards basically um and I'm trying to read what I've written on here in the past. And honest to God, I can't read any of this. The, the, there's the word no, which is uh, very clear that I can read the word no. There's like six lines where I can't quite read what any of it says. I think one of the words is secret. 
Uh, and then there's another line, another line that I think says double dick. I have no idea what this sheet of paper is. Huh, okay. Um, sorry. I'll write down, I'll write down this code beneath the double dick part of this paper. I have no idea what the fuck this sheet of paper could possibly be. Um, what the hell is wrong with me? Sorry, I'm just writing down a number. I meant to have a pen and paper with me every single time I do Metroid. But uh, I abandoned that idea about halfway through Echoes. I abandoned it about an hour into this game. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I still have the pen and paper pad that I kept for um, Metroid. And I filled in multiple pages for, for writing shit down on that. I had to flip through pages to just be like, right, this is the room that this was in. And even if I didn't know the power up, I'd just be like, right, this is the thing that's weak to, like, this is made out of this metal. And then we'll find the power up that, like, destroys that type of metal. So there's also that part that I really enjoyed about, um, Prime 1. Whenever there was a structural weakness to something, it was always because, oh, it's made out of this material, this one particular type of explosive, or energy from a weapon, or something like that, destroys these type of materials, and I really liked that. Um, I think that has still been a thing in these later games, but it just hasn't come up as much. And I don't know whether it's just not come up as much because there aren't as many collectibles or different doorways hidden behind that stuff as frequently because of its more linear nature, or whether it was just because there was so much stuff in the first game that was... Um, based on destructibles with different, like, explosive weapons. And you didn't start the game with explosive weapons. Like, you got the missiles later on. You got the morph ball bombs later on. You got the power bomb later on. Where in this game, like, you start, like, in Echoes 2 and 3, you start with half of that shit, so they don't need to tell you that as much. Or whether it just becomes a lot more obvious, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's also, it was part of a world-building thing of just, like, you scan stuff, and that's a little bit of world-building, and it's nice and cute. Again, I think that exists in this game and um, the previous one, just as, uh, like, that stuff still exists in there, but... Because I don't find collectibles as interesting, and the game's a bit more linear, I don't think it's come up as much, is more so my thing. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Fuck ton of phase on. Interesting, okay. Come back to this planet, we've got like unique encounters and shit. Nice. <laughs> and when we did kind of just like stop this place from getting hit by a missile and then kind of just fucking bounce. And being that, you know, it's been over a year, playtime wise, for this, they've taken a while to come back to it, so like, <laughs> their healing has been a slow. How do you destroy these things again? What do you want me to destroy this? Uh Oh I just killed this shit. <laughs> Am I just killing them all until it until it disappears? Or is it that stuff is causing this stuff to appear? There's a lot of them appearing though. Wow. Thank god I have the Nova Beam. You gotta come back to this specific point way earlier, though. Oh, yeah, you just kill off enough of them and then it blows up. Okay. Ah, and then the Zeke missiles there. Okay. Hey, ship landing spot. Nice. But there's still some phase on gooey gooey goodness rolling around. So, again, if there was an actual reason to come back to these places, like, it could have been a case of, oh, okay, I destroyed this thing, and now I have a ship thing to fly right here. Oh, whenever I get the Seeker Missile, because I know that's the Seeker Missile from Echoes. Um, or even if, you know, I can just be, like, scan it and just be like, okay, I've got to do something where I can hit multiple things uh, when, I, when I come back. Then I could have written that down and done that. But I didn't come here until the end of the game, because there was no fucking point coming here until the end of the game. Um, because the game... No There's an enemy somewhere here, and it refuses to show itself. But, um... Again, I just... I, I so desperately wish that more of this, like, the structure of the game... Um, this wasn't so heavily focused on... You do one area, then you do the next area, then you do the next area. And I think if I had to come up with one, if I had to come up with a single criticism that I have of Prime 2 and 3, 
Like these, if I had to come up with what, if I had to say what is the main reason that I, I think these games are weaker than the others. If I had to come up with a single one, it's that. Like, and it's... Ah, balls. <laughs> I want to land up there. Yeah, if I had to come up with a single reason why I think e Echoes um, and Corruption are not as fun games as Prime 1, I, like, again, I have other issues. I don't think the tone's necessarily worse in this game. Um, oh, come on. It's not that I think, the like, the tone is worse. It's just I prefer the other one or stuff like that. Or, sure, like, this one might be a bit more linear. Might, there might be a more annoying moment in Echoes. But at the end of the day, if I had to give you a single reason why, it's a very simple reason. <laughs> And that reason is the fact that you do one area, then you do the next, and then you do the next. And there is not a lot of backtracking between the areas once you finish it, like, for main story progression. And if you... Okay, I'm going to give up because there's clearly nothing up there. Um, and if you want to do the backtracking, you have to go out of your way to do it. You're never given any form of natural point to go and do those things um, without having to go, like, massively out of your way. Um... Where I feel like Echoes 1 had a lot more opportunities where you'd want to do that. Oh, sorry. Prime 1 had a lot more opportunities where you'd naturally do that. And again, I know I sound like a broken record, and I'm constantly just saying, isn't the other game better than the one I'm playing? I know. I know I say that a lot. But it's because it's true. Um... <laughs> Plus... Open. Open. Get the fucking door open, please. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, okay. When you said there's a lot of fucking leftover phase on, this one means it. And now the door's being big locked. Okay, what is happening? Okay, how many enemies do I need to kill to get rid of all of that? Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. These are optional bosses. They just have a particular type of enemy that is just actually straight up an optional boss in this game. Huh, well there you fucking go. Whoa, okay. Okay. Huh. You can knock me off. This is a little bit harder. <laughs> that does make this a little more difficult than before. If you can knock me off the if you can knock me off the sides of where I'm where we're standing. That does make this a little harder than I guess. <laughs> Please die. Oh. There we go. Uh, get in there. Yeah. Oh, come on. Really? Wait. There we go. <laughs> Give me the gooey gooey goodness. Yeah, so, the, yeah, they So, you, you, there is... Ah, shit. <laughs> Wee! So, there is multiple of them, but there is indeed an actual straight-up optional boss fight in this game. So, I guess, yeah, I, that's it. This is confirming to me. Yeah, no, the other one's an The other one that I did, without even realizing it, I did an optional boss. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Like, the game actually have optional bosses now. Well, there you go. Die. But as an optional boss, the more you damage you do to it, the easier it gets because you got less tentacles to shoot off in every phase. Uh, I mean, they are more like a single, like they're more like a tough enemy than a boss. <laughs> but it, but it's still, it's still cool. I, I, again, reasons to incentivize wanting to do side shit. Is something that I've been criticizing the game from the beginning. <laughs> so, at, at, at any point where they give me more chances to one do side stuff, including optional bosses, always happily welcomed. Ew! Fedroid Hatcher defeated. Ah, oh, then just throws all its bullshit. So, unlock a more full section. There we go. And everything blows up. Energy cell! There it is. That's our last energy cell, too. F -f 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 fuck yeah. F fuck yeah. Oh, give me all that delicious health. Mwah, 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 mwah. Whee! Roll through, jumpy jumpies. Hell yeah. 
Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Here we are. Lost energy cell. Hell yeah. We're now carrying four. I think that's all of them. I just depowered you. How do you how are you opening when I just depowered you? Questions are being risen here. <laughs> Let me check my inventory. I just want to double check, double confirm, double dick that that was all of them. Yes, it is indeed all of them. Fuck yeah, we now we have every single energy cell. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm very very scared about those final two um pickups that I've missed. I'm still very scared about that cuz I don't have no idea where I could have missed them. I get, unless they're on the Valhalla. So I'm desperately hoping it's the case. Please. Thank you. Because if they're not there, I don't know what the plan is. I mean, I'll look it up. You know, call the ship here. Just to make sure this is activated. Not that I think it'll do anything. <laughs> just activating landing points like this count as pickups. I'm hoping so, because I'm think i going to guess there's another one that I haven't activated here. But probably not. No, it doesn't count. Files. Well, there's no point in me flying back, because i got to go back here anyways, so... I guess I can fly over to the- I, can, I could fly over to the other side where I miss- where I don't have that one. <laughs> you know, I will fly over there. Fuck it. Let's be lazy, right? Why the hell not? Enter ship. Let's be lazy. Let's just go whoop. <laughs> Take back into orbit to land like, uh, what, 400 meters from here? If that? <laughs> it's a tiny planet. Well, tiny outpost on this planet, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Just fly over there. Why not? <laughs> But yeah, I mentioned it last stream. So I'm now just... I've shot on this game for so long that I want to say a positive. Um, oh! I don't know if I've once seen that cutscene of, like, Samus in her ship flying around. I guess they do that one because they don't have, like, anywhere for her to fly through like, on the planet. Because, like, if you fly through the pirate place, you're flying through the tunnels between the areas and stuff. If you're in Skytown, you're flying through the sky. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Or maybe, other than the pirate homeworlds, I've never actually done a travel on the planet that I'm on. Uh, this is also very possible. I'm gonna jump on my ship. <laughs> I'm now wondering if that's what I was meant to do at the other place. I was meant to just jump on the ship and get up to those other platforms. Not that there was anything up there, though. Although I can see what I meant to do here. There's a morph ball track somewhere here that I've missed. Damn it. I was hoping that would show up on X-ray visor a little bit more. Then not nothing, but apparently not. Ah, there it is! Spider ball track. Yeah. There we go. Video game? I know. I'm trying to 100% you. It's like the game doesn't want me to 100% it. <laughs> While I'm trying to, the game's just like, please just beat me. And I'm just like, God, what are you, my disappointing child? No, I'm not gonna beat you, Jesus. That was terrible, that was a terrible fucking joke. Uh, does it make it better to say that I'm allowed to do that? Because of my father? Or is it still fucked up and I shouldn't? I think it's- Ah, oh god, I, I, I know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to check the map of where I am, video game. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going at this way, right? Yeah, go out that way. We'll end up there. We'll get to- 
near the maintenance main stage, and then we'll be there. But there's a bunch of phasoids. No, it's just more mechanics. Do you have time for my bullshit? I've got duties to perform. We'll have to talk later. You don't have time for my bullshit. Got it. Bunch of assholes. You have any idea how hot Samus is and you turn down talking to her? Fine. Be that way. I guess looks don't get you everywhere in this world. Including when you're badass space pirate and no one can actually see them. Oh, I guess I, I, that makes sense. I was about to say, map station? I guess I already got the map here. Wait, what are these things that I never scanned? Hunter, oh shit, we have stuff on all the hunters, shit. Shit, I guess this is quite important. Hunter Gore, subject is a veteran of the Liberation War of Wotan 7. Um, only 6% of subjects, birth boy remains. The rest is state of the art cyberware. Spies career and heavy cybernetic modification. Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Gore is rather gentle and appears situations um, approaches so, sorry situations logically, but is not the most skilled of fighters. Intel suggests he even has a sense of humor. Sub subject is often championed the weak, poor, and downtrodden, working for free or giving bounty money uh, earned to the victims of his targets. Wow. <laughs> Does, does that make you a champion of the weak, poor, and downtrodden if you're told, yo, go fuck up these people, but the money you paid for it, you just donate to I don't... Uh, I like it in spirit. I like the idea of him working for free to help people, but... Oh, the victims of his targets. Sorry. Sorry. The victims of his targets. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I read it as victims of, like... I, so I, I pictured it as just like when he kills someone and then he, the money that he gets from the bounty he gives to like the person that he killed kids or something like that. That's where my mind went to. It just completely misread it. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, okay, that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Subject emerges cybernetic body into larger mechanisms, including gunships and fighter craft. Is merging with Ultra personality as you become incredibly aggressive and violent. Data indicates a high proficiency with computer infiltration and manipulation. High level of mechanical empathy, <clears throat> um, mechanical empathy with artificial intelligence. Aw, uh, he was really nice. And then murdered everything. Rundus. Subject is a uh, native of Frigus, a moon of planet Best 3, uh, known primarily for ice mining. The Frigusian um, ability to manipulate and generate ice has come in handy in Subject's career as a bounty hunter. Endel suggests he enjoys hunting, to the point where he keeps trophies from all of his targets he successfully captured or killed in his career. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant, and considers himself without rival in his field. A lot less description on him because he's kind of a dick. <laughs> Dude's a cunt, I don't want to write any more words about him, but go- Oh, he's such a nice dude. Gondratus. Um, subject homeworld unknown. Possesses metamorphic abilities similar to biomorphs of Jovia 12. Can assume the form and abilities of most living things, including bioforms can, um, considerably larger than the subject. Scans are unable to determine subject's age, but cycle, um, eval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that a bounty hunting is akin to a sport for her, one she enjoys considerably. Subject perceives the veteran hunter Samus Aran as her chief rival, a, ri a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. Okay, so the other two are a little bit of a dick, but Gore is just like nice guy supreme, nicest dude who's ever nice. <laughs> I like the comparison between the two. Yeah, one of them's nice, the other one's cunt. Absolute cunt. How do I- what? Ah, oh, I can go through here. Ah, oh, cause it's a mirror of the other place we were in. Ah, no! Did that even damage me? <laughs> Literally didn't even damage me. This should be fixed up in no time. You've been saying that for months! So I'm assuming that the gaps that I took in my LP of doing the game are canon to the series. Probably unfair. Not going to change my mind though. <laughs> Is there anything on the top of that tower? No. Though I do want to go back there. I'm going to grab this first and I'm going to go back there. Just to see if there's anything. 
I mean, that is where the attack happens, so it feels important. It feels like it is something that is very important to check out. <laughs> ah. Whoa, whoa! Electricity flying everywhere. Did I not have missiles when I first came through here? Let's start the game with missiles. Did I not start the game with missiles? Oh, it might be specifically ice missile. It might be specifically ice missile, meaning that it's a white door. I might make sense. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm really concerned about this fact that I've still got all this, that I've still got two things to not to get, and I don't even know how to get that one. Mildly concerned. I'll go through the maps and everything else to try and work it out, but I'm concerned. Especially considering one of them's an energy tank. I still have one energy tank left. Or at least based on the dots up here. If it just ends blue balling you without that last dot, that is a bit deckish. Plus, thank you. <laughs> a little bit perturbed by that. Um, uh, sorry. This area is off limits due to repairs. Oh, you won't even let me go back to the scene of the crime. Ah, oh, you, you bastards. But I wanted to see what it was like. <sighs> God damn, this one's all fucked up. Like, real badly. Fully energized, everything's fully energized. And not even a problem. Not even a problem. Can I go down there? Probably not. <laughs> okay, now we've got to work out how to get that thing at the start. I can't even see where it is. So I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> This may be the hardest collectible to get in the game, given the fact that it just doesn't even show you anything. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna blow up the other ship and everyone dies, but it makes the wreckage collapse in just the right way for me to get what I need. It's possible. It's possible. I'm really hoping that these last two power-ups just happen to be on the ship. <laughs> I'm like, my, I'm desperately hoping that's what it is. Is there anything here I can fuck with? No. So I'm gonna guess it's there, right? But then how in the fuck does anything? What? Is that a thing? Looks like a thing, but I might have already fucked with that thing. Ah! Oh! I missed this pathway before. Aha! Oh, it's literally not even up higher. It's literally just there. <laughs> oh! I'm a fuckwit! Got it! Got it! I'm just an idiot, it turns out. I'm, I'm... You all out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't even know how many people are going to get that reference. It's an awfully specific line.